In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a functional minimap, as you see in the top left. So, let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your third person character, or the first person. It doesn't matter which one. And go into your viewport. And we are going to add a spring arm component into it and make sure it's parented to the capsule component and over here on the rotation set its rotation to negative 90 next we're going to add a scene capture component 2d right here you can name this something like mini map capture something along those lines hit enter and it will add a second camera icon it's not the same as these cameras like a normal camera you're used to but it just unreal just uses the same icon for it but just press e and you can rotate this down negative 90 degrees like that sometimes though if depending on what version you're in uh the minimap capture will already be properly rotated so you wouldn't have to do that step Alright, so next we have to change a couple of settings in our capture component. Over here on the projection type, we can set this to orthographic since it's going to be flat. And the ortho width, sort of like how much area it will actually capture basically. Somewhere around like a thousand is pretty good. You could go higher with it or lower with it. I just like a thousand. So then you can compile and save. And this is all we need to do in the third person character for now. So minimize it. And head back to your main content folder. Inside of here we are going to make three items. The first we are going to right click. Go to materials and textures. And it's right here. We're going to make a render target 2D. This will act as a texture basically for the render so i'm just going to name it rt underscore minimap something along those lines rt for render target and next we are going to need to make a material for this render target so right click it and you can hit create material right here and i'm going to name this m underscore mini map everyone has their own naming conventions so just name it what you prefer and then open up your mini map material and it should be black which we will fix that in just a second but down here and make sure you click the uh, actual main node but down here in the material domain set this to a user interface and connect RGB into the final color hit apply and then that is all we need to do for the material. Alright, so next we can create a widget that will actually display the minimap on our screen. So right click, go to user interface, widget blueprint, and name this something along the lines of BP minimap widget, like that. Open it up. Here we are going to need to make a image. So search for image over here, drag it in, and this will represent the actual size on your actual screen. And you can rename this to something like mini map image if you have multiple things on your HUD. If you already have a HUD, you can just open up your regular HUD if you'd like. So next we are going to change the size of it because it's kind of small. So over here, I'd say something around like 240 and 240 looks kind of like the right size. And then you can come down here and click the brush and on the image, click it and then search for your M underscore mini map right here. And it's still the black image, but once again, we'll fix that next. So compile and save. And we can close out of this. We can actually head back to our character that I was just in with the capture component. 
selected we can scroll down here all the way down until you see scene capture right here and this is where we put our texture target in so right here we select our texture target make sure you compile and save and then we can head to the event graph ignore like all of the stuff it's from previous tutorials and if I we will need to search for begin play yep I haven't used it yet if you've already used begin play just connect off of it wherever you used it at and so here we are going to drag off of this and do create widget and then drag off of owning player and do get player controller and then for the class we are going to do our bp minimap widget or whatever you named it then off of the return value we just search for add to viewport and make sure it's all hooked up and compile and save and we can head back to the main viewport and if you go back to your material over here as you can see the minimap textures and everything have updated if you have an actual character in the world it'll look proper but since I don't it's just sort of blank but it has updated regardless and if we hit play we can see our character running around but you notice we have a slight issue with it that I actually forgot to mention and this has to do with the spring arm component because our whole character is like turning so it's turning the render component up there because it's attached to the spring arm component so we need to fix that by closing that going back to your character opening it up go to your viewport select your spring arm component and right here under camera settings on the inherit pitch yaw and roll uncheck all of these and then compile and save and make sure the camera is like the camera's front like make sure the little like angled bit is like pointing straight the same way the arrow down here is and compile and save now it should be fixed so if we play as you can see we have a little mini map and our guy runs around and the camera always points north no matter which way we turn our camera or turn our player all right that was a fairly simple tutorial i'll make a part two for this soon if you enjoyed it or found it useful then subscribe for more leave a like and i will see you in the next one bye bye